Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yaz, and today I just want to share with you the items that I received in this month's glam bag. This is a bag right here. I do kind of like it. It's kind of a, I guess like a pewter color. It has a whole lot of sheen, which I guess is definitely appropriate for this time of year. Pretty well made. So let's just take a look inside and see what they've sent. The first item I see here is from My Couture, and it is highlighter paper. I don't know if I even know about this brand, to be honest with you. It doesn't... The logo, the name doesn't sound familiar to me at all. So these are like highlighting sheets. Well, these are highlighting sheets. So that's the front of the packaging. That's the company. And they're actually, I guess, kind of reminiscent to like blotting sheets. They, you know, the packaging is pretty similar and the way they feel is, is very similar, but they have shimmer on them so you dab them on or you swipe them on and it applies um, the highlight for you wherever you want to do it and on the back it actually tells you how to highlight if you can see that diagram right there it tells you exactly where you put highlight I do kind of like the packaging because it comes in a booklet it has a cover so the highlight shimmer isn't gonna go like all over the place they're in there pretty good so they're not gonna fall out and then you can just rip one off or rip off half however much you need and, and use it as you need to. I did try this out the other day um, after I got it and it doesn't give like a dramatic highlight. It gives you a subtle highlight. It's not like you have to worry about using it. You're not going to swipe on like a whole bunch of sheen. It's going to be very pigmented or anything like that. It's a very subtle sheen which is really good. I think especially for on the go you don't want to have to worry about blending it in. I also like the size of the sheets. You can definitely cut them in half if you don't want to use a full sheet. Um, so they're very user friendly in that sense, but I wasn't crazy about it because I'm just, my skin's very oily and even after I set my makeup, you know, I wouldn't want to go over top of it with something like this. I didn't feel like it was the kind of product that I can just dab on and get the highlight. I had to sort of like rub it into my skin and once I do my makeup, I don't want to have to rub anything in. My skin's very oily, so I can't really disturb it in that way or it's just going to take away whatever I put on beneath it so the foundation and whatever I have underneath the highlight that I apply would just sort of move all over the place and it's just gonna look like a hot mess so um, I think if you're not too oily you could probably make better use out of this product um, maybe if you have a lighter complexion I don't know I don't know who this would really work for um, I wasn't crazy about it I don't think the highlight sheen that you get from this is all that great I much rather use my powder highlights that I usually go to um, over this but I have it I'll try to use it a couple more times see how I can make it work but for right now it's definitely not a product that I would consider purchasing so the next item in my bag is from NYX and it's a NYX Ultra Pearl Mania loose eyeshadow in charcoal pearl now when I saw the color in the container I was like mm, I don't know about that color because it just looks like gray eyeshadow but when you swatch it, it it actually is a really nice color and I did use it the other day and I did like it it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It is pretty shiny. There's a swatch of it. I hope the light works with it there. But it does have quite a bit of shine to it. So it's really pretty. It's really nice for an evening look. Um, perfect for the holidays, obviously, for Christmas or New Year's. Really pretty color. I'm very happy that it looks much better once you apply it versus what you actually see in the container. And I saw these recently at Ulta and I was interested in picking one up and I thought I had picked one of these up but it was actually the gold glitter one. I realized that the glitter ones are actually not safe for use around your eye area. So I've been using it pretty much on my nails. What I meant to pick up was one of these and I saw one that was kind of like I guess like a champagne -y gold color. I may go back and pick it up because I really did like this. It wasn't too messy to work with which is usually my issue with loose pigments. Um... Maybe it's the container because it's in a deep container. I can just dip it in or, you know, dip some in the, in the top and, and use it that way. I just felt like it wasn't as messy as some of my other loose pigments. So I actually did kind of like this. I would consider repurchasing another one of these in a different color. So, like this item. The next item is from Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. And last month we got something from them as well. We got their eyeliner in the color Onyx. Um, not crazy about it. I've been using it. I'm actually using it today on my eyes. I'm just basically trying to use it up because I wasn't crazy about the way that eyeliner applies or the formula. I don't know. It's just something about it I'm not crazy about. But this month, it's a lip gloss. And the color, I love the name of it, is called Hot Mess. And it is just a very sort of not too like in-your-face red. 
almost kind of like an orangey red, I guess. Yeah, kind of like an orangey red. It's not too bright. I'm actually wearing it today. I wore it the other day um, just on my lips, nothing underneath it. I am wearing this today. I do have a little bit of like a nude lip liner. I just feel that when you use like a nude lip liner underneath a lip gloss, you just get um, the color as it's meant to be like what it actually looks like in the packaging it's not like a super opaque color it's definitely I I think it's daytime friendly at least on my skin tone it's daytime friendly I probably used about three swipes to kind of build it up to this color it's definitely a lot more sheer than this if you only swipe it like once and then blot um, but this is about three swipes I don't feel like it's super um, sticky like it my lips don't feel like they're going to stick together and I don't feel like if I get my hair in it, it's going to be too messy. It'll still be kind of gross if you get your hair in it, but not as bad as some other ones that I've tried that are like super thick and sticky and your hair gets stuck in it and it's just a hot mess. This one though, I don't feel as, as, as much as a hot mess as the other ones, but I definitely like the color. Um, it's the second time I'm wearing it, so I, I guess I do kind of like the product and I'm not one to really reach for lip glosses in general and definitely not like pigmented lip glosses when I use a lip gloss I tend to like them more of a sheer lip gloss um but this one I do like I think the color is actually really pretty and I think it looks really good on my complexion and I can wear it both day and night and if I think if I want a more dramatic red lip I can always put this over top of a matte red lipstick and call it a day so I like this the next item I have is from Mirabella this is a primer and it's actually for your face and your eyes this is the box that it comes in. This is what the actual tube looks like. I'm actually really pleased with this sample because that's a lot of primer. And you usually don't need a lot of primer when you use primer. So I'm actually really happy with the size of this. And when I look in the packaging, it is pretty much full. It's not like some of those samples where they send you this big old tube and then you look in it. And you're lucky if the product fills half of the packaging. But this is actually very full. I did use this the other day and I did like it very, very much. It worked very well. I don't feel like it made me too oily. I get oily regardless of which primer I use for the most part. I haven't found a primer that keeps my oil completely at bay. But I have tried, you know, I do have primers that work better at controlling my oil versus other primers that do absolutely nothing for me. So this is definitely a primer that I would go to. I love this is like one-stop shopping. You can use this on your face and on your eyes. You don't have to put a separate eye primer on your eyelids and that's exactly what I did I only used this for my eyes and for my eyebrows all over my face the only primer I used and I actually really liked it I felt that it definitely helped to prolong the wear of my makeup I didn't feel like my eyeshadow creased or my under eye concealer creased like I felt like this was a pretty good primer I'm not 100% sure how much it goes for but I know usually they give you like coupon codes so that you can go and purchase things online so if it's not so expensive I might actually pick one up with the discount that I'm sure they've probably sent us this month. So this is a pretty good primer. Um, first initial thoughts is that I would definitely recommend you trying it out if you were in the market for a new primer. I like this. Definitely going to be using this um, often. It does contain silicone and it does feel and it does feel like all the other silicone primers. I like that. I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. I'm not allergic to it or anything like that. So I definitely like this. Definitely recommend it. And the last item I was really excited for, and it is from Urban Decay. It is a 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the color Zero. I actually have one of these already, I believe, from a palette that I got from Urban Decay. But I like it so much that I'm not even mad at that. So that's it right here. That's just a light swatch. A very light swatch. You can definitely deepen it if you want to deepen it. But I like this eyeliner. It definitely lasts all day. It doesn't disappear on me by the end of the day which is always a concern for me just because I have, you know, I wear contacts and sometimes I have to put drops in my eyes and sometimes I feel like it makes my eye makeup disappear or, you know, I need to rub my eyes because I feel like I have something caught in it. But um, this eyeliner works amazingly well. I definitely like it and I don't know if I would necessarily purchase because I don't know if they sell these individually. I would think they do, right? But I've seen like the packs of like six and I want to say that for six you pay like... 30 or 30 something 40 dollars something like that um so i i don't want to have to repurchase and i really like this so now i don't have to repurchase because i got another one so i'm very excited that i got another one not even mad at that this is a great great product i definitely recommend this because i've used this before many many times it's not cheap but i definitely recommend it because i do like it and as usual they like to send us cards and stuff with our bag so this big one right here is another promo code for just fab um 
I'm kind of sick of these. I wish I would have sent these every month for everybody because from what I understand, it says in the fine print that it's for like first time customers. So like I used the first one they sent me and you know, I got something that I really, really liked. I just, I don't see myself wanting to get something from there every single month. If I come across something really nice next month that I want to get, then maybe I will. But um, I don't know. It just doesn't appeal to me every single month. And these coupon codes are only good if you're like a first time user. So those of us who've already used it can't use this code again, according to the fine print. I haven't tried because like I said, there's nothing really that speaks to me. But they should just send these to first time customers and not send it to the rest of us because it's kind of like, it's pointless to the rest of us. It really is. So whatevs. Um, the next card is Glam Bag Gift Subscriptions now available. So if you want to give someone a subscription, I think it's a cool idea. I definitely think it's a good idea for that someone that maybe you're not sure what to get them, but you know, you know, they're into like makeup and you can give them a little subscription. It can be, you know, it's only $10 a month. So maybe you can gift one month if you want to only do one month and you're not that close to that person. Usually when you do like a gift subscription for any kind of company, it's usually for like one month, three months, six months, 12 months, like that. So um, it's definitely a great idea. It's good for that person that maybe you're not sure what to get them. Or maybe someone that lives like in another state and you're not going to see them. You can definitely give them a subscription. And it's not too personal. You don't have to worry about, well, is it going to work for them? Because they're samples for them to try. And I feel like it takes the pressure off finding like the perfect gift. Because... There, there's probably going to be at least one or two items in every single bag that they're probably going to really like and be excited to use and that will work for them. So you don't have to worry about, well, is it going to work for them? Well, they're going to get samples and they're going to try it out for themselves and see. So I think the gift subscription thing is a pretty good idea. Um, I'm personally not going to do any gift subscriptions just because I don't, I don't want to, but... Um, it's a good idea, something definitely to consider, um, especially even as a like stocking stuffer kind of a thing. You can get a gift subscription sent to you and stick it in that person's stocking and call it a day. So. And here is our offers from Ipsy with Love, Happy Hot Holidays. That's the card. And then on the back, they have like little ornaments. And on the ornaments are the names of the companies from the products that we received this month with little discounts on them. With these coupon codes, they don't actually put the codes on here. You have to go like in your Ipsy profile and you can pull up the information through there and get the discount codes. Or or go directly to the website and it gives you the discount code. I forget how it works, but it's something like that. So I definitely like that they do this every single month. It's um, I think I said this last month. It's just it's a great way to get the people who try out your products to go ahead and purchase your products, which is ultimately what these companies want. They don't only want us to try out their stuff, they want us to try it out and buy some more. I really like the idea of the coupon codes every single month in conjunction with the items that we get from them. Those are the items this month from Ipsy. Ipsy is a monthly subscription service. I'll put their link down below if you're interested in joining or getting more information. It's only $10 a month. I feel that they've stepped their game up in the last like four or five months and their products are really um, representative of what their subscribers are looking for. We're looking for quality products. Um, I have never heard of Mirabella before. The primer that I tried out this month, I really do like as well. It's great to try out these new companies that I've never heard of, I've never seen around. I probably never would have come across them unless I would have received their products here in my glam bag. But it's also great to get products from companies like NYX and Urban Decay that you're very familiar with, that you purchase products from and would want more products from them. So I think they've definitely stepped their game up in the last couple of months. I definitely would recommend you trying out their subscription service if you're sort of in the market for something like that. And I like it. It's a nice little surprise every single month and a couple of goodies to add to your collection and see what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what you like, don't like. Overall, I just think it's a really good subscription service. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.